Hello and welcome to a Stitchy podcast. Thank you so much for being here. It is a wet and windy day here in the UK and that means I can't go out and do anything so I, it's a stitchy day so that can't be too bad. How are you? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for if you're a new subscriber to the channel. We've had lots over the last couple of weeks and that's lovely and thank you if you are used to my waffle. Um, it's been a busy couple of weeks, but I've had time to put some stitches on my nature journal, which is kind of my go-to every day. It's something that I, it's part of my routine. If you are interested in the, I know some of you in the last video said that you were interested in how I, the embroidery stitch that I use for my stitching. Sorry, that's my little pup you can hear. Um, there's going to be a separate standalone video on that coming up in the next couple of days. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you what I've been up to and what we've been working on over the last week or so. So my nature journal, I've done a few, I'll show you the other little bits that I've done, but this is the bit that I think you've already seen. And then what I tend to do is I will pin on, these are all pinned on, pin on all the little things that I think I'm going to put on here so I can see how I think it looks. This I think I'm going to use. Um, this was some yarn from something that we tidied, one of our skeins that we tidied. I think that fits in really nicely, so I think I'll probably couch that down. Can't resist this lovely bit of fabric, this is a little Liberty scrap. I thought that went really nicely with the catkin, so that's ready to be sewn on. Um, if I show you Charlie, the fox that I started stitching. So Charlie is not quite right yet because he there's a thing going on with his eyes and I'm not too sure about. So we are, I'm either going to um, stitch some color over the top here to soften this. He looks like a bandit really. So I'm either going to stitch across here and soften it or I'm going to, it doesn't sound very nice what I'm going to say, but I'm potentially going to take his eyes out. I'm not quite sure, that sounds awful. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with Charlie. I'm going to spend a bit of time on him uh, because I like everything else, but his eyes are just not quite right. So we will see about you, Charlie. Don't panic. This little dish was my mum's. And that is if you had our Selvage Chronicles, that's on its way to you, some of our hand dye thread. Hope you love those. So that's Charlie moving into February. Sorry, I'm trying to not take my entire desk along with it. Moving into the uh, catkins, and then I've got some more fabric here. That's probably gonna be another Suffolk, Suffolk puff. And then my B, which is on, and then I've got some lavender ready to go on for the B to go to. So that's my nature journal and I'm going to spend some time this afternoon probably stitching these things on first uh, before I move on and tackle Charlie. We'll see about Charlie. What do you think about Charlie? Do I leave his eyes or do we redo the eyes? Not sure about you Charlie. So that's my nature journal and I've been really loving that. If you're one of our patrons, this has been uploaded for you today, the pattern for Charlie. You don't need to stitch every single, you don't need to, sorry, trace every single line. Just give yourself a, a guide and yeah, make him your own. I put some paint on first, but you don't have to. So yes, that's my nature journal. It's coming along slowly, which is how I like it. Also looking at this, I want to add some more writing and some more quotes all along, but my next thing I'm going to show you is all about writing actually. So the other thing that I'm going to do, which I've been talking about doing for ages, this is one of my favourite linen dresses, and I'm going to embroider all around the neck, and I think I'm going to go onto the sleeve and the other sleeve, and then finish up on one of the um, pockets. So, and I'm going to embroider it with, this is from one of my favourite poems, I can find it. So this is by Wordsworth and it's She Dwelt Among the Untrodden Ways. 
She dwelt among the untrodden ways beside the springs of Dove, a maid whom there were none to praise and very few to love. A violet by a mossy stone, half hidden from the eye, fair as a star when only one is shining in the sky. She lived unknown and few could know when Lucy ceased to be, but she is in her grave and oh the difference to me. That's one of my favourite poems. That's just all about love and never ending love, I think. And so I'm going to I'm going to embroider that on the dress and I'm going to take my time over it. I've got to decide what colours. I'm tempted to go for a very pale green. Where was that thread I had just a second ago? That might not be too bad. It might I don't want it to stand out too much, it might go a little bit darker than that. But I'm going to use DMC thread um, because it is obviously going to be washed and I want it want to know that um, it's not going to run or anything like that. So yeah, I think I'm going to start and put the quote all the way around the neck and go on the back as well and then gradually and add a few little flowers. I don't want to fill the whole dress, I just really want to do the top maybe onto the two arms and a pocket. So that's my next project. I love poetry, I love words and um, I will be showing you how the stitches I use for my words. So the other thing that I want to do is I have got lots and lots of books on um, wildflowers because it's my thing. I love wildflowers. And this particular one here that I think I showed you last week, which is a concise encyclopedia of wildflowers illustrated by John E. Sowerby. And I was looking at this and I love this book. And this reminded me very much in the way it's sort of laid down, laid out as uh, of a herbarium, which is a record of uh, plants that are usually dried. They're dried plants, but they're they're sort of set out um, as if it's a in a museum. So I think my next project is going to be. It's very much inspired by this book and by what I see around me and how I'm feeling really. I'm going to stitch lots and lots of wildflowers, probably about this size, maybe a little bit bigger, um, and then write the name in sort of museum style. I'm going to write the name of the plant under each one, its English name and its Latin name. And I'm hoping that's going to be a big project that's going to last, I don't know, might last a couple of years, might last longer. I have not thought out what I'm going to put it on yet whether I'm going to paint backgrounds, do it on plain backgrounds. Um, I know I want it to be seen. I don't really want it to be a book or something like that because I want to see it out. But whether it's going to be something that will maybe sit on the bed like a coverlet or whether it will be a wall hanging, I don't know yet. I'm still planning that. And the other thing that I want to do is do a similar kind of thing, but in a different style uh, of bugs. So I love to see ladybirds and damselflies and, and bees. And I, that's something else that I will be putting some of that on my, my nature, uh, Stitch Nature Journal. But also, I'd like to do a study of them as well separately. Again, not quite sure yet how, what form that's going to take. But they're the two things I'm doing. So... I'm looking forward to those. I'm really looking forward to thinking about honeysuckle, about what I'm going to do and whether I'm going to have it as, you know, perhaps little squares or whether I'm going to have, I don't know, cow parsley creeping through. I don't know. Still in the, still in the early planning stages, but I can't wait to get started on that. So they're my next two projects because I need lots of things to do. I like to be able to move from one thing to another rather than just have the one project. That's why it takes me many years to knit cardigan because I've always got something else I'm doing. So we've had a really busy week and it's really about finding time to do all the projects and things that I want to do because I always want to do all the things. Um, but we've had a lovely week creating some really pretty things for the shop um, and some new things that We've been planning for a while and we've found time to do it and we're really excited about. So I wanted to show you a few of the things that we've been working on over the last week or so. I say we, not just me. Um, also, I wanted to show you quickly before I move on, my little pincushion. I don't know if I've shown you this before. Willow, this was made for me by my 
very talented friend, Vivian, who is Green Rabbit Designs, and I love this. I have to make sure I don't stick the pin. I have to stick the pins around Willow, not in Willow. But she, she made me that when we got our Willow for my birthday. She makes beautiful, beautiful uh, little crocheted cre oh, little girls. I call them my little girls. I've got elephants, all sorts. You go and check her out if you don't know her. She's lovely and very talented. So this has been made, these are flower presses that we've made, these, my husband makes these and he's made quite a few of them that have come into the shop and gone and I had quite a few people saying, you know, by the time I get in there to get them they're gone so he's now making them to order so they're made from solid wood and you have, they, they don't come with the card and, and the layers to go inside it but all you have to do is lay your cardboard in as many as you want and put your flowers in and you're good to go. So there is Goldfinch, there is a Wren, but I don't have, currently have that one, that's one sold. And this is the dried flower one. So they're in the shop to order. He does need a little bit of time to make those. So um, I think he's making them, the, they're going out about a week at the moment after they're being ordered. So they're in the shop. Um, his Instagram account is from the woodshed. He's very lazy about posting on there, but he is going to, he promises me. So some of the yarns that we've got in the shop at the moment, this is in the ancient woodland. So these are from our new um, woodland collection that we launched last week. And this is on DK, it also comes in sock. And this is tawny owl. And we do have some others, uh, Snowdrop Under the Oak Tree. Um, some of them may have sold out, but we are going to try and restock them. But that's our new uh, woodland range, which we're very excited about. We've got some lovely plans for that. And then this week we put in some new, oh, really pretty. We've been inspired by roses this week. And these are, this is a lovely, delicate fade. Again, we're going to try and keep these in the shop for some time. These are from our floral edit. And these are, this one is called Ballet, this one is Aphrodite, and this one is Sweet Honey. So this one's got a slight lilac to it. This is a very soft pink, and this one has a slight hint of apricot. You can see, I hope you can see that they are different. They're just a very, either a very delicate fade or beautiful on their own. And the other thing that we have dyed up this week are some embroidery threads which I have been promising to do for ages. And these are our embroidery threads. Again, this is our rose collection. They're pure silk, mulberry silk, and these come in a collection of five. And we've got lots of these planned. And they're beautiful to stitch with. They give a lovely uh, texture to your stitching. Very, very different, obviously, from using um, either a silk thread like this which is which is quite um, thin or the DMC and I think it's lovely to change it up so they're in the shop now and they're our rose collection hand dyed silk threads and we've also now these have sold out so why is she showing me because again I'm hoping to make some more but we had a couple of bags no time like spring with polka dot lining and little hand sewed tabs and this one is Songbird. And I do have some more fabric of both of these. I just didn't have time to make any more, but I will be making some more. So that's Songbird and No Time Like Spring. Actually, what I remember, another thing that I always forget to say is that the embroidery patterns that, that we do, that we have, like our little Wren, Charlie the Fox, the Goldfinch, they're all... Um, designed by Christopher, who, my son, who I work with. Um, I always forget to say that, but they're his, he's very clever, he's very talented with um, the camera, with the, he's good at sketching, he's good at painting, he's a poet, so yeah, he's very artistic and he's the one that does all of our designs and I always forget to say that. So this weekend, I'm hoping, I've got, again, I've got hundreds of things I want to do, I don't know how, I think I need one of Hermione's, what is it, time turner. Um, because I want to do everything. But I'm hoping to make a start on my slow stitch. I want to make a little drawstring pouch because I think that's something I will definitely use. I use pouches all the time. 
This is our Selvage Chronicles Porcelain and Roses, which most of them have gone out now and some of them I know you've already received them. And it's basically, we put them together so that the, you see all the different layers as you open it. It's all sort of done for you to ex explore all the different colours. Some of them are hand dyed, some of them are vintage, some of them are new. And there's enough in there for you to put together a lovely little slow stitched project. And I'm going to be starting mine this weekend. Our latest one, which is Blossom, is still in the shop at the moment, if you're interested in that. The other thing I've got to show you, the other thing that we've been doing, um, we have, again, this is something you've been asking for for a long time, we have got some vegan yarns in the shop. So these are a linen bamboo mix. Uh, this one is parchment, this one is tea party, and this one is lavender blush. Um, so they're fully vegan, the dyes used in them are vegan, and the wash that we use is also vegan. So if that's, and I should imagine that will make a beautiful little summer, sleeveless summer tea, which I might have to start one of these. I'm not quite sure which colour I would go for, they're all so pretty. So they are in the shop now, so parchment, tea party, and lavender blush. So I hope you enjoyed that. We've got a new video coming next week then on the, specifically on the stitching for the, that I use for my lettering. And if you're one of our lovely patrons, there's also going to be a video in the next couple of days on the stitch, the general stitching that I've been doing and the, the flowers that I've been doing to connect them because I, I love doing that. So happy weekend and happy, it's Mother's Day here in the UK. Hoping for a bit of sunshine tomorrow, but we shall see. It's not looking too hopeful. So let me know in the comments what projects you're doing. Uh, I'd love to know what you're up to. I think this is all about inspiring each other because there are so many different things to do and different ways of stitching and I'd just love to know what you're doing. I've got a thing at the moment about having these bigger projects because I feel like it puts less pressure on me if I'm picking something up and I, I don't have to see an end to it, that it's just sort of an ongoing project. So I'm really enjoying that. <clears throat> Pause there for onset for giggles, for completely no reason whatsoever. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you um, in the next few days. Thank you for watching.